guys. It's Aaron from Wild Signs. Wild Signs uh, is a large format print and sign shop based out of West Michigan. We do it all. So if you're in need of any kind of signage, hit us up. All right, so this episode uh, kind of piggybacks off of episode one and two where we talked about how to save a file for print. Uh, this episode, I'm going to show you guys the best way to save a file for web use. All right, so we're going to open up this uh, just logo file here. So you notice the mode. Uh, you want to keep the mode at sRGB if that's an option. If you only have the option for RGB, that's fine, but sRGB uh, is the best option. Uh, so we're going to click that, uh, leave the resolution at 72, and then just make sure that you adjust the width and height pixels to what you want your image to be saved at. Open it up. All right, so here's what you want to do. File, export, save for web legacy. Okay, once you're in here, you want this to be set at PNG-24. Uh, if you have transparencies in the background, you want transparency to be clicked. If you unclick it, anything that's transparent will turn white, kind of like when you're saving a JPEG. All right, so leave that. Um, again, the image size is set here, so you can change it if you want to. Um, obviously, I wouldn't increase the size when you're in Photoshop because it's just going to, um, you know, stretch the pixels out and it will start looking muddy or blurry. So I'm going to leave this what it's at and click Save. Leave all these settings the same. And that's how you do it. It's pretty much the same out of Illustrator, but I'm just going to show you guys. So you're going to open up the file in Illustrator. Whoop, don't need him. Go up here, file, export, save for web. I'm gonna come over here and make sure this is set at PNG-24. Uh, again, you deal with the transparencies. So uh, if you click this, includes transparency based on color opacity. So if it's clicked, then it will include the transparency. If it's unclicked, it's gonna turn everything that's transparent white. Again, you have your image size, with your link, but I'm going to leave all this the same and just click save. We'll replace it because it's the same file name. And uh, that's how you do it. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully, that was helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel uh, for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks, guys.